get him from John, could you please tell us uh, what the situation is with you and um, when you're entering the United States? Uh, a lot of people don't want me in, you know. They think I'm going to cause a violent revolution, which I'm not. And the, the others don't want me in because they don't want me to cause peace either, you know. Because peace is big. Uh, war is big business, you know. And they like war because it keeps them fat and happy. And I'm anti-war, so they're trying to keep me out. But I'll get in. You know, because they'll have to own up in public that they're against peace, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, what can we, as, as the youth of, of uh, Toronto, like, what can we do to try and help you? Uh, help me by helping yourselves, you know, and uh, the militant revolutionaries, ask them to show you one revolution that turned out to be what it promised militantly. That's uh, take Russia, France, anywhere they're at it. What they do is they smash the place down, then they build it up again, and the people that build it up hang on to it. And then they become the establishment. Now you guys are going to be the establishment in a few years. It's not worth knocking it down, because it's convenient to have the rooms and the machinery. The thing is to protest, but protest non-violently. Because violence begets violence, you know, and if you run around wild, you get smacked, and that's it, you know, that's the laws of the universe. And they've got all the weapons, they've got all the money. And they know how to fight violence because they've been doing it for thousands of years, suppressing us. Mm -hmm. And the only thing they don't know about is non-violence and humor. And there's many ways of promoting peace. Do everything for peace. Piss for peace or smile for peace or go to school for peace or don't go to school for peace. Whatever you do, just do it for peace. You know? It's up to the people. You can't blame it on the government and say they're doing this, they're, oh, they're going to put us into war. We put them there and we allow it. You know, and we can change it. If we really want to change it, we can change it. Uh, what about that uh, Paul Ringo? What's his name? George. 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 Uh, we're all four individuals, and George is saying to me, George is doing it in his own way, with the way he goes about his life. It's no good uh, shouting on the street corner, I want peace, and then beating up your mates, you know. You've got to try and work your own head out, you know, and get non-violent. It's pretty hard, because we're all violent inside. We're all Hitler inside, and we're all Christ inside. And it's just to try and work on the good bit of you. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, like, I read in a paper that, uh, you know, everyone seems to think that George is the nice guitarist and stuff like that. Um, like, I'm not too keen on George. I like him and everything like that, but... Yeah. I have a feeling, you know, that, that you're sort of drifting away from people. You're still, like, sort of like a symbol, you know, for Beatles, like, God, and stuff like that. And, but no one in school, like, if you ask them who's your favorite group, they'll yeah. say, the Bee Gees, you know? Like, I'll ask them, why don't you like the Beatles? You know, they're, they're fantastic, they're great, etc. And they'll say, because, um, like, for example, the marijuana charges, they're all, they're all hippies, and they're gone from us, they're dirty now, you oh, know? Actually, well, those kids, uh, they sound like son of square. They just gotta get from under their parents' wings, you know? Yeah, I know, they're, they're like robots, you know? Like, um... Once I just got this feeling, you know, out of your um, WLP after I was listening to it for a long time, I started getting this feeling that there's a, a, a message in it, you know? Yeah, you know, messages are there on all levels, on all, in all music. On whatever level you get it on, I've had it too when I wrote it or sang it. But some of that stuff, I, I write it, record it, and play it, and I don't hear it till a few months later, and I'm lying down with a say, I'll think, I'll listen to the Beatles album and try and hear it in retrospect and not uh, objectively. And it's about everything. So it's about UK, it's about USSR, and it's about nothing, it's about USA. But anything you hear is there. You know, it's all there. Either trivia or profound whatever. It's all there, you know. And the same as in a flower, everything's there. You know, it just is, and if you look long enough, all answers are in it, you know, and the same with the music. Why? Oh, the key to the big box, I don't know. I've no idea what it is. The key to the big box? And his white jacket, maybe from last night. Oh, okay, well that's, I've just shoved that in the black hand case there. Black shiny. Yeah. No, not the black shiny case, my hand lug is in there. My, my old last night's white jacket there. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, it's a pleasure, man. In your coat. Bye-bye. Thank you. Here's your album. Good luck and, uh, Play that to him. Okay. Yeah, peace.
Exactly. So I think the uh, left wing uh, Smothers Brothers get on us and I should go.